<gasps> oh my gosh. She's definitely working. No, no. Please don't tell me I'm gonna have blocky brows. I literally don't have time to think if it's good or not. Like, it has to be good, you know? Like, you started at 10 a.m. You're still going. Yeah, girl, don't ask me how. Hi, everyone. I'm sure you're looking at this right now and you're like, ew, why did she decide to turn the camera on today? Well, you're in luck. Today, we're doing another glow up video, and I know I've done a million of these, but guess what? I haven't done one in six months, so we're definitely due for one. You can definitely tell here my hair is looking crusty, dusty, and musty, and definitely can smell it. But today we're gonna be doing the full thing. I literally have all of these things planned here and we're gonna get it done. So we're gonna go get a facial because my skin is sunburnt and dry. And then we're also gonna go get my hair cut because there's so many split ends. Every time I brush my hair, I look at the floor and it's literally just a pile of hair. I'm gonna be lasering while attempting to laser my own legs at home. And then we're gonna be doing an eyebrow tint and eyebrow lamination. And then we're also gonna be doing a bath, a shower, some body exfoliation. And then at the end of it all, I'm gonna have a hairstylist come over, do my hair, and then I'm gonna do a full makeup look for a red carpet so stay tuned and watch me go from crusty to a baddie you know i'm always literally a baddie it's like a mindset thing you know all right first stop haircut because what, what is going on? on if you guys want to know where i'm at i'm literally just in a lobby right now like filming this while people are watching i just need to just get an intro subscribe on the road to three million please kisses love you the skin before it is giving sunburnt and crispy so we need the hydration in it you know what i mean still looking cute though always This is the before. It is looking greasy and very much dead, but we're gonna fix that, okay? We're doing the whole shabana. What a budget too. This feels so nice. They're saying there's too much damage, we need to cut more. This is what it's looking like. I'm getting bangs. so much better truly hola amigos welcome back i'm just kidding uh it is the next morning and i got a haircut and my facial yesterday today is the day of the movie premiere and i need to do the whole nines i've never been to a movie premiere ever in my life so this is definitely gonna be interesting but we gotta get it together so time is currently 9 43 a.m and i gotta leave here at about four i mean i know you may be like that's a lot of time i but it's not it's for the amount of work that we have to do, it's not. So I'm gonna start by tinting my eyebrows. This is Reflectosil. I used to work at my mom's nail salon and this is what we use to tint people's eyebrows. And I got it off of Amazon and I'll link everything down below. Don't you worry, girly pop. This is gonna be a tutorial on how to do it because I actually do know how to do this. So first, what you wanna do is take a little shot glass or something. This is a little Hello Kitty one. And take your tint and you're gonna put that much in. And then you're also gonna put the developer and you're supposed to do equal parts of each. Mix it all together. This looks like you're toilet after you eat Taco Bell. Then what you want to do is take some Aquaphor, Vaseline, anything like that and place it on the parts that you definitely do not want to tint your face. Brush out your brows and then put it in your eyebrows like that and then you can take your little Vaseline brush. Oh my god this looks like it. I haven't done this in a long time like by a long time I mean like two years so I don't actually know if I know how to do this like I definitely don't think you guys should follow this as a tutorial if you guys buy this. I'm just trying to help and then repeat on this side. All right, this is how the brows look. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll laminate my brows. Guys, I've been obsessed with this song, but like, so is everybody. Oh, it's just such a vibe. Anyways, I was checking my spam account DMs because yes, I read my DMs on the spam account and the main account, but mostly the spam account. And one of you guys sent me this post because you guys know I love Crocs and Minecraft. So I'm literally gonna order these like right now. Oh my gosh. 75 fucking dollars for some Crocs. You know what? Gotta do it. All right, so it's been five minutes now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paper towel and just wipe. Oh my God, no, no, bitch, please don't tell me I'm gonna have blocky brows. No, bitch, no. It's okay, we'll exfoliate the face. Um, right, I definitely think that I made a mistake. Also, I was on the spam account today looking at my old pictures and bitch, who told me this was okay? Also, this was a picture with a subscriber that I met, but look my brows we definitely had a glow up okay it has been 10 minutes now and we're gonna wipe this off but it's not looking too promising but it's not gonna lie yeah i don't know about this one i think i made a mistake you know what it's fine we can we'll make it work trust me next step is i'm gonna dermaplane my face you know like those people that and then use this little solution here to make like the peach hairs stick up i'm gonna exfoliate my face with this and hopefully remove some of the that's on my eyebrows Okay, my skin is supposed to be completely dry for this. I've literally never done this before, but this is the machine. 
I bet you dermatologists are watching this right now and screaming. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is actually insane. She's definitely working. Guys, this actually works. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Oh, I just, that's not the off button. I just shot the blade out. This is good. It says to do this once a week. I'm a child. Now it is eyebrow lamination time. This is the kit. First step is the glue, which you put in your eyebrows so that they'll stick up. So just run this through your eyebrows and not me acting like I do this for a living and like teaching you guys a tutorial. But you know what? If I act like I know what I'm doing, then the results will be good, right? Like if you're confident with it, then it'll work, right? Take this little Y brush. And you're gonna brush your eyebrows into the direction that you want them to be in. No, girl, that literally went horribly wrong. Let me wash this off. I don't know if this is a good idea. Low-key tingling. Like, is it supposed to burn? Probably not. Oh my god, this is literally burning my eyebrows. Oh, it's burning. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna push through. Now I'm supposed to take saran wrap and put it on my brows and leave this for 10 minutes. This could go terribly wrong. I don't know if you guys can sense the fear. 10 minutes on the clock. We're ready. Just then. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. My eyebrows smell burnt. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's the vibe I'm getting is my eyebrows are burnt. Oh my god, and they're red. What the f did I do? This smells like ass. Now it says to apply the eyebrow fixation lotion. All right, and then I'm gonna leave this on for another 10 minutes. I'm literally on YouTube right now watching how I pose on a red carpet. I don't know. I don't know how to pose. I need the help. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna clean off these brows now. Oh my gosh, my eyebrow here is falling off. Did I make a mistake? You know, I don't think it looks bad right now. Let's see. Oh my god, my eyebrows are so red. Okay, now I'm supposed to use this brow nutrition, probably because my eyebrows are fried. And then leave this on for another 10 minutes. All right, I'm running a bath so that I can relax, do all that stuff. But guys, I went on Amazon and I bought this headrest for my bath, so let's put it on right now. <gasps> oh my gosh, look. Wow, baths are getting so much comfier now. A little bath ball moment. Oh my gosh, okay, I have this eye massager that I got off of Amazon and it heats up, it's literally heating up. It's literally heating up and it's talking to me and this is just... I feel like I'm doing VR right now, but let's get into the bath. I guess I'm supposed to put this on my face. Strong pressure, okay. Oh my god, what the f I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting this to be good, but this is good. Oh my god. Wrong one. We're in the shower now. I'm gonna exfoliate my legs using this Kate Somerville resurfacing body scrub. This is one of my favorite body scrubs ever. It is definitely pricey, but I really do like it though. Oh wow, this is like aesthetic. This feels so nice, like truly. I was out of this and they didn't send me any more and I was literally in the store about to buy it. I looked at the price and I was like, oh hell no, uh oh. Okay, don't mind the mess. That is my bathroom, but we're gonna be lasering my leg. But this is the machine, it's like this purple one. I also just wanna thank you like for sponsoring this video. When I was in the shower, I just like lightly shaved my legs and my armpits and everything like that with this little razor that they give you. But if you guys follow me on TikTok, y'all know that lately I've been getting waxed and stuff like that just because you know I saw people talk about it. And why did nobody tell me that getting waxed literally causes more ingrown hairs? Like I have never had more ingrown hairs than waxing and it also hurts a lot. So I'm gonna be retiring that method and it's expensive. But with this lasering machine, it's a one-time purchase and you can use it basically as many times as you want and you'll be hairless after 12 weeks. You'll start seeing results after three weeks, but then you'll be hairless after 12 weeks. I'm not gonna lie, usually I'm really scared about lasering and all that stuff. That's why I haven't really done it very often. But with this one, it has like this sapphire cooling like device thing in it. So it doesn't burn, like it's not hot. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like with lasering, I'm always thinking like laser, like tss, like it's gonna burn my skin. Let me just show you, you know what I mean? Like show, don't tell. You always hear that. There's three different modes. Basically the first mode is like more sensitive so you can use this like on your face for peach fuzz and all that stuff and then the second mode is for like your armpits because you can use this on your armpits too you can literally use this all over your body like down there as well but i'm gonna go on mode three so that i can use it on my legs oh my god y'all know that i'm a dramatic person so if this was hurting i would probably be screaming right now and telling you guys but i promise you this does not hurt i know like they do this in salons and stuff but that's expensive and also you have to go in multiple times and I don't know about you, actually I know about you. You're probably not that motivated to do that. Like it's so often having to go into an appointment and show up to get lasered. So I think that doing this like a little self care night at home is so much easier. Not to mention it's a lot cheaper. All right, now let's do the armpits. Y'all don't see me screaming, do you? 
This legit is painless. If it wasn't painless, y'all would be able to tell. I'd be out here like, oh, oh. but this is FDA approved. It's safe. Don't worry. And y'all could add this into like your little self-care routine. Anyways, when I complained about my ingrown hairs from waxing, everyone told me to switch to lasering. So I'm definitely going to do this now because it's literally just a one-time investment buying this. And then after 12 weeks of using it, you'll literally just have permanent hair removal results. So if you guys want to try this, I'll have it linked down below. And you guys can also, if you guys want to like save money, use my code, my, you like the original price of this is $329. But if you guys use my code again, my, you like you guys can get it for $2.79. But you guys also can try it without worrying because if you guys, I don't know, decide you guys don't like the product, you have like a 90 day money back guarantee. So thank you to you like for sponsoring this video. Okay, I'm here with Mitchell and Megan right now. And if you guys remember from the Adidas video, I got my hair done. And it was like one of my first times ever getting my hair like professionally done. But I thought for this special little event and to make the video a little bit more entertaining, we would do it again. So this is the inspo look for the hair. And Mitchell set every, well, Mitchell and Megan <laughs> set everything up over here. And oh my gosh, my bathroom literally looks like, I don't know, like a professional salon. But Lena's gonna be over here in an hour and a half and we're gonna start getting ready together. But I'm super excited. Wait, where are you going next week? I mean, this week, Mitchell? I'm going to the Oscars. He's going to the motherfucking Oscars and he's doing my hair right now, so. Only the best for you. Oh, thank you. Okay, time is only 2.50 right now. I'm gonna use this face mask to put on my face to prep my skin for all the makeup because I was watching some like little tutorials and everything and everyone's out here talking about how important skin prep is or whatever, so we're gonna use this one. Oh my gosh, it looks wet, like wet. I don't know if this is actually gonna be a vibe right now. Maybe let's do like a little eye mask. Do I have any eye masks? <laughs> this, this, is, this is dripping, y'all. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna be doing a lip mask and an eye mask moment. This is giving Vogue like makeup tutorial. You know how like all the models always have like eye masks? on so we're gonna do that so I literally, literally, I have an hour to get ready. And I know that to you, it may be a long time, but to me, it's not. I want to look good, but the thing is, I literally just started getting ready now. So we are going to be doing a very um, rushed makeup video, get ready with me, because we have literally an hour before we have to leave. I still have to put on my outfit and everything. So if this video is all over the place, you've been warned. No, because this is literally chaos. If y'all came here for some aesthetic video, this is not good. First, I'm gonna start off with contour. I'm trying this new thing where you like do your kind of contour and concealer and then you put your foundation on. You what? Like, tell me why my face is getting caked up right now. What, why is my makeup peeling? Oh, babe, this is not a good start. No, it's peeling all over my face. <gasps> no, guys, what do I do? Uh, maybe my skin needs to like the, 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 what is it? The moisturizer and everything uh, and serums need to settle into my face, I think. Okay, be right back. This is the outfit. I got it in the mail today. I had it sent to me by Into Archive. Oh, I need a bralette. Hold on. I got this bralette off of Amazon and I just like asymmetrically put it because this dress is asymmetrical. How am I supposed to wear this? This is chaos. I literally started getting ready after like 9 a.m. in the morning and how am I late? How am I still late? Time is currently 4.06, we have to leave here by five. But I did like the contour and the everything. It looks a lot better now that I waited, but I'm gonna take a concealer brush and just tap in the concealer because apparently if you do your concealer before as well, it'll look so much better. So that's what we're doing. This concealer is not my shade, it is way too dark. But you know what guys, it's okay. Like this makeup is gonna turn out so good. Like it's gonna turn out so good. I'm literally just telling myself that to make myself feel better. And if I say that it's gonna turn out good, then, then it'll, It'll turn out good, right? It's looking pretty good right now. Now I'm gonna let that sink in a little bit and then we'll do another layer. This is the fit. I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, honestly, like, I think it's good. If I like, learn how to pose properly, does this look like a sleigh? Somebody tell me. I literally don't have time to think if it's good or not. Like, it has to be good, you know? Like, there's literally no other choice. So. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think you guys definitely can tell. Another layer of foundation. Tap, 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 tap. This have so many acne scars, and I forgot to put green color corrector all over it. So, this is gonna have to do two layers of foundation. Now, I'm gonna go in with concealer and just spot conceal more spots that definitely need the help. This is literally just... Chaos. I'm using this off-brown beauty blender that I got for like literally a dollar and I'm gonna blend in the concealer with a brush first and then I'm gonna go in with lender. I don't know. I saw a makeup artist talk about how like it'll make your makeup look flawless, but I don't know if an off-brown sponge works the same, but it's gonna have to. Guys, I'm look looking a little bit crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Like we're really just gonna have to pull it together. Wow, this like one dollar beauty blender is actually a sleigh. Save money, live better. Now I'm gonna go back in maybe with more contour. This is looking nice. I ain't gonna lie. Now I'm gonna use a new cream blush. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this looks so scary. Okay, hopefully it's good. Oh, babes. 
This looks amazing. Actually, I don't know. I think I'm gassing myself up to make myself delusional. Okay, I'm using this new Givenchy powder that I got. I saw all the makeup artists talk about it, so I had to get it. Hi! Hey, Selena! Wait, you started at 10 a.m. and you're still going? Yeah, girl, don't ask me how. I literally always manage to be late to everything that I do, and it's so bad. Your hair looks so good! Thank you. We got the, the powder going now. I'm gonna bronze, and then I'm gonna carve out here, maybe. I'm using this broken ass Huda Beauty bronzer. Okay, we're gonna carve the face up. Let's do eyeshadow. A transition shade. Okay, I'm gonna put some like lighter brown in the outer corner. I literally don't know how to do eyeshadow, bro. I just assume. Time is currently 5.16. Mo's is definitely late. Not late, but just not running on schedule. But these are the shoes that I'm thinking. I don't know, I just got them in the mail from Bellini Wild. They sent it to me. Literally, I never really get clothing PR, but I swear it was meant to happen because these are perfect. I'm going for a silver look today. Okay, this is how the final makeup looks right now. I slay for doing it myself. Like, bright lights. Is it not looking beat? Beat? We definitely got here literally two minutes before the red carpet closed, but please. Do you know what Ortega is about to be here? Not me looking like I'm feeding too, but in reality, it's just for me, babe. East and the West, I'm racking up on my brand, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla, too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt, girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her, Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest, all night long, she putting me to the test, got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest, couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the best.